What's going on guys? Welcome back. So in the last video, we talked about the hand tool. In this video, I want to talk about the zoom tool. The zoom tool is great for being exact. I mostly use it when I'm dealing with audio. I'll cut off any ambient noise or maybe it's just a split second of me breathing too heavily or something. So what you can do is go ahead and just click on the scroll down menu and highlight over zoom and click Z or you could do the keyword shortcut, which we've been doing A, B, Z. So what you want to do if you want to be exact, you can just go ahead and click on a clip and it's going to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine zoom ins. So, and again, there is a keyboard shortcut for the stuff. You can just do command plus to keep zooming in or command minus to keep zooming in and out. And that's really the gist. That's, it's pretty self-explanatory. You zoom into your timeline and if you want to go ahead and let's go ahead and check out a clip. So look at that. Look up there in our preview. This is all this footage of nothing happening. That's how zoomed in it is. That's the gist. And a good way just to snap back is do your uh, shift Z keyboard shortcut. So you get your timeline back to like this 90%. So you can see all your clips and everything you got. All right, guys, good luck with this. I don't want to jump into trim right just yet because it's a little bit more detailed than the previous tools we've worked with. What I want to do is pull in some audio uh, as well as some royalty free audio for the YouTubers out there that don't want to get in trouble with copyright issues. Let's jump into those couple of videos next. When we get enough think when we get enough media pulled in here, we'll really mess around with trim. When we get enough media pulled in here, we'll really mess around with trim. Good luck with this guys and I'll see you in the next video.